So Kieran, it's ultimately a defeat for us this afternoon, but you must be a very proud coach. Yeah, extremely proud. I thought uh, our effort today was fantastic and you know, I thought more importantly our performance was good as well. Uh, the last couple of weeks we, we've been off in a, in a few areas and uh, you know the, the results have certainly not gone the way we'd like, but I thought today the important thing was getting a performance and having something to build on you know, for the remainder of the season and uh, certainly we had that today. And, I think we're still going to find a little bit more for next week, but I'm, I'm happy with the manner in, in how we, we, we lost the game today. Well, not in, in how we lost it, but in defeat, I should say. Despite going behind early on, we really took the game to Toronto and we scored two nice tries on the back of it as well, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, we spoke today. We, we, we're not going to uh, win this game by just being sat, sat back on our heels. We, we have to go and attack them you know, with the ball and defensively. We had every opportunity we had, we, we had to go and play. And, you know, I thought we did that. Um, I liked our composure from coming from behind to getting back in front in both halves of the games. And you know, As a coach this week, I've got a lot of a lot of positives to take from that performance. You touched on it there. Moving into that second half and given what happened at Halifax, last week and going behind early in the second half you must be proud of the fight to get back into that game yeah i am um, you know i thought you could see behind the stick you know the, the the spirit was there the desire was there to defend our try line and you know the guys celebrating again when they, st when they stopped him scoring so certainly for, from last week to this week miles apart and uh, I'm, and, I'm, and i'm happy how we performed today touch on a couple of individuals danny craven sponsors man of the match scored a lovely try in the first half he must be proud of his performance yeah Danny's been good uh, excellent you know he's he's maturing now into that senior player um, he's probably not always believed he, he is that senior player but now he, he's coming to terms with it he's understanding the game and he's added more to his game now he's not just a run threat or a kicking threat you know he's, he's organizing the team he's putting people where they need him and certainly he's been uh, one of our most consistent performers this year and certainly been a uh, top one of our top performers as well debut to Ellis Robson in the, in the second round. Did you assess it, his performance? Yeah, Ellis did great. You know, he's, he's come in, he's been with us a week. Uh, he's had a couple of training sessions with us. You know, I thought he, he filled in on that right-hand side really well. He was composed, he what he did, and it was really good for him to get through that 80 minutes. Lloyd Roby joined Club 20 this afternoon. Again, showed his versatility and played well. Yeah, it's, it's probably, you know, for Lloyd, he, he's, his versatility sometimes goes against him. Uh, you know, he'd like to, to nail a position down, but, you know, sometimes he gets in the team because of that versatility. He's been very good all year. He's played in numerous positions for us, and you know he, he always stands up and performs. And uh, he probably just lacks a little bit, little bit of belief in himself. But once he gets that and starts backing himself, you know he's going to be a fantastic player. Barring turning the defeat into a victory, that was a perfect preparation for you moving into a big semi-final next week. Yeah, it is. You know, obviously, you, you want to get two points. And you want to win the game. That's your ultimate goal. But um, behind that, you need a performance and something to build on. And there's lots of positives out of that game we can take forward, and certainly there's lots to build on. And uh, like I said before, we we're still going to find a little bit more next week because it's going to be a, a really tough game going over to Lee there and uh, you know we need all the players firing we need probably a couple back and uh, we certainly need the support uh, of all our supporters as well. Touch on getting a couple of players back couple of changes today how are we looking body wise ahead of next week yeah we've got seven days left now um, you know we, we've lost a couple uh, coming into this game just through some some niggles who've been affecting them in training and that's affected performance and uh, you know we, we have to get over that um, and you know we, we have to do what's best for the players which was meant some of them missing out this week but uh, you know those guys have uh, have got to come back into selection frame next week but certainly the guys who played today all stuck their hand up as well and our, and our last word to our sports that were brilliant and vocal this afternoon we need more of that again next week don't we yeah we do uh, you know they've been brilliant all year and, and without those supporters we won't be here um, you know and we, we haven't been great over the last couple of weeks in our performances and you know, I thought today we, we, we turned up the fans turned up again and you know they, they'll follow us through anything you know they, they, these guys who, who backed us you know, through administration through some good performances bad performances and you know they turn everything turn up every week you know they pay good money they're vocal they support us and certainly next week we'll, we'll need them all again uh, on our side and shouting loud